currently still continuously working rotary drum compensation furnace. Testing video. This is grid 10F grid stainless steel drum. And also all the purification system using stainless steel also to make sure longer service lifespan. We use the big diameter pipe for the smoke going through. LPG preheating and after that recycle gas burning. Now it's preheating. Temperature inside is about 600 centigrade. The feeding speed is adjustable. Rotary speed is adjustable. The hopper open bigger and smaller is adjustable. To make sure the output capacity, we suggest to input the moisture below 15%. So this is just for testing with feeding in this way. But for production line working, we suggest you using a rotary drum dryer advance. So we dry the raw material in advance and using a buffering silo between the dryer and the furnace. In the buffering silo uh, storage silo, it can adjust the feeding speed it can automatically control buffering storage silo like this and above above there will be a higher height for more volume the bottom is with a conveyor so the speed is adjustable based on accordingly uh, to the machine. Uh, like this. After, uh, I think it's only five minutes, the recycled gas, uh, flammable gas is already produced. Uh, the color is like a little yellow, so we can bring it because this is like this color is flammable. So we can let off the fire using the lighter. The recycled gas from raw material compensation is allowed. So after we let up the fire of the flame gas, it's smoke is working because we show all the gaps, all the connections using our design. We shoot every connection so it's smooth is working. And bottom air is the bottom chamber burning uh, hot air. We can add the pipe and bring it to the dryer heating chamber. So uh, they will be connected if you work in a production line. Production line like this from conveyor to the rotary drum dryer. And next is the Carbonization furnace and top position the pep it's bring the hot air to the dryer. Bottom burner fire. 
we use use uh, liquid gas to light up the fire of the bottom chamber burner, and we can observe the fire here also. Ready for the charcoal output discharge. After about average about 15 to 20 minutes, the charcoal will be discharged because we set up the rotating speed is lower and the speed is adjustable based on your uh, raw material condition. So if your raw material is dry and also thin. The thickness is thin, it's easier to fully carbonize, so you can adjust the rotating speed faster. This is extra gas burner, so the main gas is burning at the bottom chamber. And the, if there's extra gas, we can add a pipe to bring it to the dryer using, or uh, you bring it to somewhere else, like boiler, if you have boiler. So we can check the bottom uh, bottom fire at here and also we able to check here because here so all the electric opener are uh, they able to open up the fire. So the cooling we are using the water circulation water cold water to cool down. So at once the uh, water is uh, temperature is low, the discharge charcoal the temperature is only uh, forty centigrade. So I can. So you see, I can touch because it's cool. It's already cooled down. Fully carbonized. See, it's fully carbonized. A good result. It's suitable for wood chips also. This is wood chips, uh, but we suggest the thickness below three millimeter, or else we have to rotate the rotating speed slowly, so they will reduce the output capacity. Like this is very suitable, but like this. We will need crush again, but this is just for testing. But I need, I need you uh, to let you know that this thickness is not very okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Design. The area, the length is totally only uh, 15 meters and the width is only from here to here, over. So it's compact design because uh, we have customers, they have big de uh, demand of the uh, final Delta production, so uh, this is helpful to save the uh, factory area space. See the color. Beautiful color. Hey, even its high thickness is fully carbonized. Beautiful color. Fully carbonized. Regarding the output yield, uh, it's based on raw material, but normally hardwood, sawdust, and wood chips, uh, every one ton raw material, they're able to give about 330 kilogram uh, charcoal belt as final product. And some kinds of hardwood, sawdust, wood chips, or coconut shell is able to reach 340 or 350 kilogram per hour um, output capacity. So if you're not sure uh, the water you use in this coat, you have to spray and spray water to make sure they are not burning anywhere. Uh, and to sum up, 
that is to drum combination for this is a uh, much better for the durable uh, long service last band and also uh, it's able to work in uh, in a higher quality for, uh, for the working and also the final output final product but because it's stainless steel and also it's high thickness so the preheating time is a little longer about 20 minutes uh, compared to the boiler grade steel so this is the video i'm showing you today thanks for watching see you in the next time bye